John Quincy Adams, a former diplomat, takes office with grand ambitions to modernize America through infrastructure and education. He champions the creation of a national university and supports scientific endeavors, setting a precedent for federal involvement in education. His presidency begins under the shadow of the corrupt bargain, tainting his electoral victory and complicating his relationship with Congress. Adams faces staunch opposition from a divided Congress, stymieing many of his progressive policies and dimming his legislative successes. He maintains a steady hand in foreign affairs, skillfully navigating international diplomacy to uphold American interests. Adams's strong anti-slavery stance, although principled, fails to gain traction during his presidency, setting the stage for his later career as a powerful anti-slavery advocate. His push for infrastructural development, though only partly successful, lays groundwork for future advancements, highlighting the early visions of a connected America. After his presidency, Adams's influential role in the House of Representatives as a fervent advocate for civil liberties and abolition further elevates his historical significance. Modern historians continue to reassess Adams's presidency, often viewing him as a man ahead of his time whose ideals and visions were only appreciated in retrospective. 